Dang, man, this dude just turned 18 years old and is taking delivery of a 2020 Denali Duramax and $15,000 in cash. If I was him, I wouldn't even know what to think right now. So good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're giving away our 15th diesel truck. It's absolutely mind-boggling to me every single time I'm headed to pick up a winner, man. It just gets better and better with time. So if you missed the announcement, Darian Alexander out of Arkansas is the winner of my personal 2020 Denali Duramax. We flew him in yesterday, put him up in a brandy spank new hotel for the night, and now we're going to pick him up to show him his truck for the first time. And I figured it'd be appropriate to pick him up in the truck that we finally got back from the whole repo heading. You guys are definitely going to want to hang tight and a little pit stop before we actually show him his truck and we still have to figure out exactly what wheels Darian wants on his 2020 is he gonna go with the black 22s with 355s or is he more about the brush concave 24s with the fury 33s only time will tell all right boys we've arrived guys by the way you can get these face masks and get entered for the limited morning good morning how are you today what's happening guys nice there to meet you man Quentin. Hey, Quentin. Pleasure to meet you, dude. All right, boys. So we're officially welcoming Darian Alexander from Arkansas to the vlog. Welcome, my man. And then we've got Quentin in the back here hanging out. This is his grandfather that came along with him up from Arkansas. Travels were a little rough yesterday for these guys because we had a snowstorm that came in and ended up delaying their flight eight hours. Hopefully you guys are feeling nice and energized because dudes, we already got this truck registered in his name. We just finished up in the notary. Everything is ready to rock and roll. Jake's up at the shop right now. He's got the truck completely ready to rock. Big question is, what wheels are you going with, dude? I would say that I can concur, my friend. That is a great choice. Are you ready to see your truck? Your truck, is that crazy to like just say? Like, does that even feel real, dude? <laughs> I mean, come on, still, that's like unbelievable. Still processing. It. Yeah, still processing, check back later. But dude, I got a quick surprise for you real quick. Oh, really? Well, my philosophy is that if it's too good to be, if it sounds too good to be true, Really is. You know, and on the internet, when things are too good to be true, generally they are, and that's a great rule of thumb. But that's where we kind of take that rule and we kind of just break it. <laughs> break it off pieces. Yep, you're exactly right. What are your friends saying? They've been texting me. Have they? Like crazy. <laughs> I'm sure they're all super stoked to see this thing in person. Oh, yeah. Did anybody know about enthusiasts in your friend group? Yeah, some of them did. Some of them texted me. I was like, well, I entered in for that giveaway. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yo, me too. And look what happened. <laughs> here, we're over at Lime Ridge. You had to see this place because I obviously make lots of videos here. But I had to let you see Dream Diesel giveaway number 16 in person, my man. That's the truck that one of these individuals right here is about to win themselves. Damn. <laughs> so, Quentin, this is the truck that we're giving away next. Nice. So somebody that's watching this video right now might be taking that thing home. A little dirty because we've been driving it, but we got to enjoy it before it goes away. That's right. And we were passing by it, so I wanted to let you guys check it out in person before we head up to the shop. I freaking love that color. Isn't it awesome, dude? It's, it's so dynamic. Like in the light, it's light red, but in the dark, it's like a real sweet burgundy. And while we're over here, guys, we got 8-Ball chilling down here as well because as y'all know, I got a real space constraint issue. So I'm gonna let Darian check this thing out for a minute here. It's filthy right now. Definitely don't judge me on that, but we use it from time to time. <laughs> So this is what 1100 horsepower looks like. <laughs> I'll be this quick too. It is quick. Yeah, it should run somewhere in the mid 10 seconds in the quarter mile this year. That's what we're shooting for. Just waiting for it to warm up. Mother Nature's got a kick or bad mood for the winter time because we're done <laughs> yes. with it. That is clean. Clean but dirty at the same time. See, it, it's been collecting a winter's worth of oh, dust. Yes. How many tires do you go through them in a year? Uh, I can't even keep track. Honestly, Quentin, I'll be honest with you. Hey, grab as many pictures as you'd like, man. So guys, just like this man right here, that six foot five, I look so freaking short next to you, dude. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to get my stilts. I hate that I forgot them at home today. But just like this man right here that bought this hoodie right here, you could win that truck right there and $15,000 cash. And see it in real life, dude. How real is this right now? Pretty freaking real. I think you're still trying to wrap your mind around it, as I will be too. If some dude came running to me with a camera and all of a sudden was like, what do you feel? I'd be like, awesome. <laughs> I just feel good. And he hasn't even seen the truck yet. This is just a small little pit stop along the way. You ready to see your Denali? Oh yeah. Let's do it, dude. Welcome to the shop, man. Are you, uh, are you ready yeah. for this moment right now? The moment that you traveled hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to have? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Thanks, and we 
got the brush 24s on it for you just as you had wanted man the brush was that an easy or a difficult decision for you it was pretty difficult but i like the brush look all right man i can stand behind that i think they fit this truck perfectly we had a black antenna and a brushed antenna so we left the brushed one on there so it matched for you seem real good <laughs> I like that answer, man. A lot of people are like, nah. <laughs> you own a 2020 Denali Duramax. I, you know, for an 18-year-old kid, <laughs> I guess it shouldn't call him a kid, but, uh, <laughs> but that's what an 18-year-old is right. compared to me. Absolutely, man. It's great. And he literally just turned 18, nothing but less than six months ago, four months ago. I wouldn't even know what to do. I know. Like, what the heck is even happening? The coolest thing is he's entered every single giveaway, and as soon as he turned 18, he won. That worked out so well, man. This was just meant to be. Changing the oil is going to be easy for him, dude. This man makes me look so short. <laughs> oh, are you? It's no wonder he plays ball. Now he's going to be balling on people on and off the court. Breaking necks all around. You're talking about changing the oil. We've had uh, different ones said, boy, it's not going to be easy anymore. It's going to be 250 bucks every time you change that oil. Uh, it's not that much. No, it's, it's honestly probably 60 bucks. You go to Walmart, pick up five quarts or what is it? Nine quarts. Yeah, it's like, it's probably all in with filter. 75 bucks. 250 bucks, no way to change the oil, not a chance. Years ago, you had to change the fuel filters every time you change the oil. Yep. Do you still do that? Or? Nope, every other. Every other is probably like the best practice. Okay. Yep. Taller than what you thought it would be? Yeah, no complaints though. <laughs> and that's coming from a real tall man. <laughs> I had to put power steps on it just to get into things. That is something. No, everyone will have to be looking at you at night. They're gonna be like, what is that thing coming up behind me? The factory warning label still sitting in here. It was folded <laughs> in when I bought it. I just never took it out. So I'm like, what better, better way to make a truck feel brand new than having the stuff that came exactly. from the factory when I yes. bought it new. This is probably one of my favorite trucks that I've ever had. Not only because I've got a lot of sentimental time with it, but because it was like one of the first 2020s that really kind of surfaced on the internet. And uh, we had immediately put a set of 24 or 22 14s on it just because, you know, it looked amazing. And its transformation has been significant, but it's been minimal. You know, it's not like we went over and above on this thing. We kind of wanted to keep it like the perfect daily driver and all the different mods that we did to it. You know, I hooked my gooseneck up to this thing numerous times. It'll do anything that you need it to do. Uh, and it'll do it really, really well. So here, I'll show you how your toenail cover works. Toenail. Get it right. The toenail cover. How, <laughs> can, how can I mess that up? This thing opens up, too, if you ever need it to. Your second button here is how to drop the actual tailgate. You've got two cables, one here and one here. It doesn't matter which one you pull, but it'll, it'll detach. But dude, you got airbags on this thing, Fox shocks with reservoirs up front and in the rear. They're actually the brand new Gen 2 Fox shocks. They literally just came out. 2414 American Force Concave. These are the Nemesis. Super unique wheel. I haven't seen a set of brushed ones ever anywhere except for these. These are the Fury 13, 33 by 14 and a half. You got powder coated amp research steps. So we added those on. You can see they got LED lights. So like this thing lights up so well at night. Boys upper control arms and leveling keys. Fox shocks with reservoirs up front. Headlights. Yep. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Keep me on track. So we, uh, we, we built and paint matched the headlights. We took the amber lens out, the clear lens in, uh, and then we painted these black 5% tint on the sides. You know if uh, Arkansas is tough with tint laws? No, I have double five. <laughs> this dude right here. Dang, man, I like your style. That's awesome. But yeah, that's all tinted out and ready to rock and roll. But this has been an awesome truck, and the 10 speed transmission in this thing is just so nice. Yeah. It's so nice. It's next level. I got the 10 speed in that Ford F450 out there, too, mm -hmm. which is great. GM and Ford actually partnered up in the engineering of that transmission, but then GM did their own tuning, Ford did their own tuning. And Ford, you guys got a lot of work to do. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this thing is great. Really nice. And then, like I said, there's 18 rock lights so you got a whole bunch up front there's three in each wheel well front and rear you'll get lots of looks oh, yeah, yeah you absolutely will i have cautioned him as if somebody pulls up with the lights are blinking at you uh first off you roll your windows down yep all of them second you put your hands up on that steering wheel where they can see you <laughs> yeah exactly right they might stop you just to say you got a nice truck man <laughs> it's happened before uh, trust it happens me. to us frequently <laughs> actually and shout out to all the police officers that watch this thank you for your support thanks for appreciating the clean build when you see one
I've had one do it to me with mine. Has you really? That's awesome. Well, here, man, make that uh, make that marriage official. Start up, man. I know, I'm teary right now, man. This emotional moment for me. <laughs> That's why you still got Can't sunglasses on. I, why trying, you gotta call me out like that, dog? Tears. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reservoir. It allows the shock to fully compress right. with that cylinder and then all that oil bypasses into that reservoir. Okay. Um, so that's uh, that's like a more upgraded shock than um, you can get in the box. I don't encourage that you try jumping it and bottoming out the shock. It's not my truck anymore though, so whatever you'd like to do, my man. <laughs> if you would get this thing airborne, I'd be impressed. <laughs> it's a shame to get it all dirty. Right. I'm driving home. Yeah. I know. He's meticulous too, was he telling you? All of his friends are like, dude, why do you clean your truck so much? So this thing is gonna be well taken care of. I can appreciate that. It's going straight to a car wash. <laughs> Good luck fitting into one. I don't think it'll fit. Then I'll wash it at that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, bro. We're about to go on the maiden voyage in your new truck. You know, let's do something real quick. Let's connect your phone. So go into your Bluetooth. All right, now we're going to pair. We're connected, man. Oh, guys, we're making it official. Forget the phone. There's ownership right there, boys. All right, so now that Darren got the complete rundown on his brand new truck, it's time for him to take the wheel, dude. <laughs> it's official, man. Check that out, huh? The truck feels way bigger yeah, than it than it seems, doesn't it? Like, I was trying to explain that to everybody when I first got the 2020. It's so much different than like the red L5P that we have right now, the K2XX body style, man. On the inside, they are so much bigger. I'm used to mine where it kind of slants down. Yeah, the older Duramaxes and Silverados in general are just so much more narrow, whereas this thing, like the windshield curves way, way back. You'll get used to it though. Feel like a million bucks right now? Oh, yeah. Looking like a million bucks over there, dude. Yeah, man, you're making it look easy, brother. Hey, dude, it was a pleasure. pleasure, man. Thank you so much for coming up today. God bless you guys. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you're absolutely oh. welcome, man. And hey, dude, you enjoy. That's all that I could ask, man. This is my baby right here, but I know it's in good hands. And it's pretty cool that it's going to somebody like that literally just turned 18, man. That, that blows my mind. Blows my mind. Take good care of her and safe travels to you guys. Thank you. We'll help you all get out of here. It was nice meeting you, gentlemen. Take care. Thank you. The shop is empty, but man, I'm feeling so warm. It was awesome to meet Darian and his grandfather, Quentin. Man, what a great group of guys. It was so cool to have the family out here. And you know, we've had a few other scenarios where father, son, or family comes out. And man, I'll tell you what, it's just a really, really warming feeling. I'm gonna miss the 2020 guys. Like, a truck is a truck is a truck, but man, we become so sentimentally attached and bonded to these trucks, to the experiences that we get through them. And it's pretty cool to kind of just reflect and see now what experience he'll be able to create with his new truck a brandy spanking new Denali at 18 years old. Like, that blows my mind. Darren, man, it was a pleasure having you out here, and I really hope that you enjoy my baby. But now, boys, it's back to the grind. We got a lot of work coming up this week because we are about to embark on some really sick mods. Not only do we have a new turbo that is basically brand new to the market for the L5P outside, the red one, but we also just got word that all the F450 parts are incoming, and they're coming in fast. There's a lot of big changes that are about to take place, guys, and I'm so excited to get to work. So that's where we're gonna wrap up this video, boys. As always, tap that subscribe button, notification bell, and like button if you haven't already. Grab your entries to get into Darien Shoes for Dream Diesel giveaway number 16 because it truly could be you. One entry is all it takes. That being said, boys, see y'all in the next upload.